Good morning. So, uh, today I think I need to fix up some tests. I'll we'll have a, hopefully, relatively easy and hopefully shortish uh, morning of work here. Um, it's quite warm today and just close the door. Um, I haven't closed the window, so you might get a little bit of noise from birds and things, but it's just a little bit too warm. Um, okay, so I left myself some to-dos, uh, things that we need to fix up um, in Snippet Pixie next. So... Yeah, so we've got two things. Um, we've got this um, input when in select mode needs to be conditional as to whether it auto focuses. And then we've got some setups to do. Oh, test that a minute. Oh, this has changed, has it? Yeah, so in um, my settings, database functions as such, uh, I haven't got any uh, tests for the new the new functions I created the other day. I need to test a couple of things. Um, and then we should also test the debus side, if we can. What else have we got in here? Hmm. We've got way more functions than that now. We'll, um, I'll have to think of, give that a good go at some point. Let's start with um, settings. <clears throat> so, um, we have uh, already got an add. Interesting, what's that then? Add get update setting. Right, okay, so it's testing the whole thing. Hmm. That's a little bit too much, really. Sort of. If I look at uh, snippet, I did uh, a lot smaller tests. Although I did do a skeleton function so that I could whip through um, the gets. Hmm. 
I'm not sure I want to go that far on these little tests just now. Let's um There's a couple of things I need to do here though. I can already see. <clears throat> what I should have done was a get where it fails. Have I got that there? I did. Oh yeah, that's right. Okay, and I fixed that up the other day. That's a good point. So I've already got that covered. I wanted to make sure that when I do a get and it doesn't exist, a setting key doesn't exist in the database, um, that it just returns no error um, and is empty. And then obviously I can just deal with that rather than actually having errors because the default for a setting is blank, um, which means it's not set effectively. Um, and you can go from there to do whatever you like as the default. So that's fine. So actually, I don't need to do that. I was worried about that. That's OK. So what I really need to test then um, is we've got update, we've got add. Uh, I need to test remove. That's it. Because we've already done get setting. Oh no, yeah, right, okay. So we just really need to add remove. So I need to do an add. Test is there with a the get. Remove it. Test there, it doesn't come back. Okay, that's actually fairly simple. In fact, we could cheat here, I think. I'm just going to Yeah, let's do that. I'm going to cheat. I'm just going to make this full cycle thing. So let's do that. Then we don't need to like bring up a whole new skeleton of stuff. So that's going to do the get for the previously created one. I'm then going to do Uh, equals manager remove setting uh, for the town transaction ribble uh, so we expect no error back Then we'll commit then we will do a get again.
make sure it's empty. Uh, removed, set in, returns empty string, don't get. Start adding some messages here. succinct actually I'll now leave that it's fine okay so what we've added is we're going to after we've tested that the setting still exists Let's do this. Update it set. Do that as well. Just for clarity there. These little um, comments do actually show up, should there be an error. Um, See what happens. I didn't, <laughs> mind you, I didn't run the test before I did these, so it's a bit daft, but. Okay. Let's see what happens.
Okay, so everything passes. Let's just make sure it fails properly. Um, let's do this by the end. We'll just make sure. Expect, oops. This should all fail eventually. Yeah. Good. So it's running them. And then they're looking okay. I'm doing what I'm expecting anyway. Okay. That'll do for that one, I think. That's all I really needed just to make sure that that new function was being exercised to remove a setting. Sweet. Okay, one down. Uh, let's um, should I yeah. I'll just come in that one thing. So we can get rid of that. Uh, D bus. This is where things could be a little bit funny. I haven't done any tests here for settings scale test snippets which creates the basic framework there with a bunch of things I could do the same for settings. It's interesting I'm doing that. Forgot did that.
Let's see what goes on here. This is the the basic test here before doing a scale. Um, Hmm, that's just a little bit too much, this little settings test. But I really do want to test that save. Okay, let's do that then. Let's, um... What I want to do at some point is refactor this because at the moment I have a service which is handling both snippets and settings, but I'm calling it a, a snippets sort of thing. Um, I should really call it manager or a data manager or something, I don't know. Um, So it's a little bit awkward when you hit against it and it's called snippets, but you're doing settings. Um, so I want to refactor that and that's why I want to get these tests in so that I've got some sort of confidence that I haven't broken anything when I rename these things. Um, apart from also manual testing as well. Okay, I'm just wondering just how far I want to go with this. Do I want to do a scale? I think I probably should, but I do also want to do a quick add version as well. Oh no, I don't need to. Right, okay, so, <laughs> yes. So what I've done is in this service for the dbus, instead of having get, sorry, add, get, remove, uh, update and remove um, in the service side of things, I've wrapped them up in just purely a get and a save setting. So the save setting um, takes the, uh, key and value and does the right thing so if uh, if you're wanting to basically add it it says oh right okay I'll just create it because you haven't got one already um, if you want if you pass in the same values and you've already created it um, as with a different value it'll say oh I see you've already got one I'll update it and things like that so yeah so I do actually only need kind of exercise the life cycle so I don't need to go like totally overboard here
Um, so Wonder why I did that. Instead of is no error. Oh yeah, yeah, because it might be nil. Actually, that doesn't make sense. Let's try something. I'm not sure why I did that. I haven't documented why I've done that. So let's change that. I wonder if it's because this is a very early test and I hadn't quite got to grips with what I was doing there. Or maybe it's just copy and paste from like I did it once wrong and... We'll see. Yeah, that's mad. Although, oh, I know why. <laughs> okay, that would fail. <laughs> okay, but it's not a normal error. Um, so I can't test it in a normal manner uh, because it's a debus error, not a normal error. So you have to be a bit careful there. You can't do the normal tests for when it is an error. So, okay, yeah, okay. Now let's just make sure I've picked all that up. Right, I remember now. Okay. Right, I am going to not skeleton. I am going to just do an add. And then, well, sorry, I'm going to take a copy of add, but I'm going to do the full life cycle. Um,
So we do the normal debus setup here. Everything should be basics there. And then at some point we're going to change that and, and in particular that to be manager, but I'm doing it after I've done all these changes. Okay, so we're not doing anything with snippets. And then and we're going to do a service. Save setting. Which only returns an error. We're going to call this one Ripple. I'll just uh, actually, I'll do the simple to find ones there. Okay. First thing I need to do, however, let's give it a this. just do this then I know enough right Do that. I'm going to do a get basically, and then we're going to test that it's empty. And then we're going to save a setting. Well, hold on, before we get that far, let's just make sure this works. Okay. Let's actually just do it in there. So that's just testing the manager, and that's okay. Ah, uh, so. So the daemon, isn't it? Is that where I'm at? Yeah. Okay. 
This is the one we're running at the moment. Okay, so I'm going to make sure that keeps okay. Um, so let's make sure it fails as well. good all right then so if we do a save setting that should work and then we should be able to do a get again And get back. Wibble. Wibble. so we have empty doesn't exist we add it uh, we get it and test it's still there change it And we update it. Let's make sure that fails as well. If I accidentally have uh, the old setting. And then let's remove it. And we just do that by add, by sending an empty string.
So we'll do a fail there. This should fail. Because it won't get the value that we just had, hopefully. Yep. And now we should just get empty back. Solid. Okay, let's go back to the base. Make sure I haven't broken anything else with these tests. Should be okay. That's okay. Done. Um, and that covers both obviously get and save. So I think we're good there. Let's save that off. Yeah, I can just do it from here. Mm, I should just say. And that's them done. Right, now before I do that refactoring, because I've got this little to-do still here that I really should try and tackle, I'll do that. Um, so, let's bring up Wales. Uh, okay, where do I want to be? Be in here. Hmm. I need to take that um, overlay out, really. Maybe not. This is rebuilding Wales at the moment. Because <laughs> uh, I've got an overlay there. But I don't really need it because I'm, I'm using the latest version. The latest version has made it through into next packages now that packaged up but for a while i was using the latest version before it made its way through uh, next packages but that's it taking a while I've done a few bounces or something. Oh, I did a bunch of updates. So it's maybe yeah, picked up on that. Okay. Hide that away. I haven't got the daemon up. Um, better do a quick make here, actually. So just some changes there let's bring up the daemon there we go uh, right so at the moment you see we've got um it's auto focused on the search box which is fine in this mode uh, that's kind of what you want um 
But we've now got a set in here, which I've turned off by looks of things here. If we go back last time, this is still sticky here. Come back. This is my quick little manual test. Yep. So what should happen is if in the other mode, it should not autofocus this search box. Um, so let's test that. So, hmm. my fix for this may not have come through yet. It might not have run it. Uh, there was a problem with that box. Uh, let me just check what my overlay is doing. What's back here? Yes, yeah, standard whales. Okay. Right, I can't use our parks with that version. So I'll just have to make it. Use that. I could compile, I've got my own checkout and stuff, but where I did the fix, but yeah. It's on its way. Right, so what I'll do now then is I'll run the actual binary for, my, uh, for Snippet Pixie GUI. And I'll do it in search and paste mode. You see it's a different format here. There's no add and no settings. Uh, but it's auto focused the search box, even though I've set a setting saying don't do that. Because the idea being that there's some people that might want to always just simply pick out, be in the list, and just you know hit a hotkey for their commonly used ones. Uh, because they hardly ever change it. And if they want to do a search, they just like shift tab and they're back in the search and, you know, do whatever they want to do. So what I want to do is make sure that search box is not focused if you've got that setting turned on. So, how do we do that? Okay, I think we'll set a variable for that. Uh, we know we're in select mode or not. So, what I could do hmm, I'm going to have to do this on mount, I guess. There's a couple of different ways I can do this. What I could do is check this 
setting. Have I got? I haven't got. A, yeah, no, I haven't got a setting. In the setting screen, I'm explicitly using um, the functions for updating. I'm using save setting there and I'm get setting here. Mm -hmm. what I'm thinking of doing is if the connection is okay, because that's the only way to get it. What I could do is if we're in select mode. Check the setting and set it as a property on the list. Snippet screen. So let's do that. So I don't really want to call it just autofocus. So we'll call it focus search. Um, and we will just set it to true by default. Yeah, I would do that. And then in here, we'll just do this. So by default, we're just going to autofocus the search box, no matter what. So that's the default for the list snippets screen itself. So let's give that a quick go and make sure I haven't broken anything there. Okay, I need to update my uh, make file, don't I? I need to check um, all that stuff. 
Okay. So in search mode, oh, we might as well do that. But yep, so it's still searching there. Um, and if I don't do search and paste, it should still do it as well. That's fine. Okay. Now, let's pass it in. Uh, let's have a variable first. And we will set that as true by default. So now we're passing in that. I'll just use short form here. Don't need to do a equals blah, blah, blah. Because we've got a variable with the same name. So let's do another test. Oops. <laughs> Uh, I'm just doing it in here, aren't I? Yep, still in. And then we need to muck about with it. So what I'm going to do here So I need to be a little bit careful because we're not going to have that setting available to us if the connection's not set. If the daemon's down, you know, that I had to start at the beginning. So what we'll do is if connection OK, um, Best, let me best do a try, I guess. Uh, we'll do focus search box equals wait. Get set in focus search box. That's what I call it, isn't it? I need some magic keys for that, actually. Uh, do that. I'd like to call it error instead. There's one too many there. Kind of just want to do nothing really. I think it will. Should really never happen though. Yeah, we should throw that actually. This might get me into trouble, but In the early days, maybe that's okay. I'll leave it as settings as well, because it is a setting I'm trying to get. Although... That is wrong. 
<laughs> Need two titles here. Let's do this. And so I'm going to have to fix these up. Just double check, I've got everything there. That's why I'm actually in the middle of changing. Get, save, that's all of them. Okay. Okay, so that should throw an error if for whatever reason there is a connection and I can't get the set in from the database dboss uh, right so that should set focus search box um, and it should hopefully it might be a bit late hmm we'll see No, it should be okay. It should be okay. Okay, so in theory, we are. Oh, no, we're not. Let's see, undo, undo. That is a string. We don't want a string. We want that to be equal to Uh, was it not? As long as it's Not false. I think that's right. That's how I did it. In the settings. Yeah. Because if it's empty, I want it to default to true. So the only way you can turn it off is by positively setting the string to false. Um, if it's set to true, um, 
like there, then you'll see it's on. And if it's missing, I also want it to effectively be true. So we need to do this weirdness. I'll take that comment as well. So focus, focus search box is as long as the string version is not false. Okay. We'll do that. All right, let's give that a go. And then I'll have to start my day. If it works, of course. Right. Oh, that did not work. I have a feeling the on mount is working too late and the components already there and done the auto focus. Just make sure, yeah, it's turned off. Hmm. So maybe I really should do it slide. At least then I can grab it after the component's been realized. Double check this. Focus search box. Auto focus. Let's do a quick little test here. So it's true by default, and then on mount, and assuming we've got a connection, we're going to just set it to false. Let's just see whether I'm missing something else. Yeah. Something's not quite right, so let's go right from the top. We'll, alter, we'll set it to false by default. I 
wonder if it's yeah, I think it's probably actually in the component it's not right I don't know that did the job okay Oh, it's not great. Can't move around because it didn't actually properly set focus on the list. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. okay, right. Mm. Because it doesn't know to. Okay, so first things first, fix that. If we're not focusing the search box. So we're not changing it afterwards. But we can do a little thing here. What we can do focus. What am I calling it? Items list. Snippets list. As we're not focusing the search box, we'll focus the snippets list and then we'll add some autofocus stuff here. This will be interesting actually. Can you do what to focus here? Oops. You can, okay. Hmm. Before I do that, Let's just do a quick test of something. I presume this component cannot have. Yeah, okay. Doesn't know what that is. This might go bad. It might not like this.
So the component now has an autofocus. Boolean. And I'm passing that through. He says. So keep that selected because that's weird that it didn't pick up on that. No, it's there. It's, it is recognizing it. Okay. Um, Okay, so the snippets list itself now has an autofocus for the unordered list. We'll see if that works. I'm not sure it's going to. We'll pass that in from the focus snippets list. The uh, the screen, which is basically if you're not searching, focus in the search box, then we focus the list by default. And then on the main screen, at the moment, we're forcing that we don't focus the search box. So let's give that a go. This could go horribly wrong. Still not quite right. Oh, it is in. It is focused. It just doesn't know it on the uh, styling. Oh no, it does know. That is right. No, no, see that that's what it should look like. And then this is the focus with the mouse as to what's going to happen, highlighting. And then, yeah. Okay, so it's not quite right. That's kind of a problem. With... That. because that's the active that says that. And then focused. Okay, in that case, Let's assume that it starts off the same as autofocus then, whether it's active or not. Let's try that. That may get a little messy if we don't actually have anything. It works though. Hmm. OK, 
Okay, but it is what I want. We'll leave that there for now. So the snippets list is okay now. It has an autofocus and we're dealing with that. The list snippet screen is getting the focus search okay and doing the right thing. So we're done with that. Let's get rid of some of these things. We're done with them. So the list snippet screen is done. Setting screen, we just did those little things there. The problem we have is this. Definitely need that to be true by default. Kind of getting to the point where I think I really should have used the store because then it would be set right at the beginning and all the components would know about it as soon as they come come up. Global state, well, that is fine though, in this context. We'll see. Let's think. Um, can I? Can't do it any earlier. I could. Maybe. On the screen, get the settings. At the moment, we check the connection. C. 
soon as. As soon as we come into a screen, any screen, we do a quick check of the connection and then we set up a little ping that's going to go every five seconds just to make sure that we can still talk to the daemon. think we don't want to do anything else there. We don't want to be like grabbing the database contents all the time, I think. I did consider that even for the snippets. So that if something else changes them, it would ripple through. But you just don't need that on a desktop client. Each of these are screens, they're based on that screen component that we don't really want to be doing work in here before those screens come up and do their little tests. Although we could, we could bring that could bring all of this into the main sorry into app so that it's all up and running before a screen even comes in So I do wonder whether the main screen, oh, it probably doesn't even know, it doesn't have a connection okay yet. Yeah, okay, that's the problem. Connection, okay. Changes later, brings this in, but we're not running this change here because we just do it on mount and we're done. Uh, okay. Right. I think what we'll do is we'll move
these. Up into app. And then check con as well. Out Wales runtime, my Wales functions, my stores uh, can come back down here. Svelte International Router. Okay. So we've got a check on in here in the app now right at the top as we come in we're going to do the pings once we mount Be interesting to see whether these work at the app level actually. I think they do. Yes, they do. I know they do. Okay, so that sets things up early on at a high level. Again, I might. I might actually take out the on mount and just do it right at the top. We'll see. And then on destroy, I want to just clean out. It doesn't really matter because we're right at the top level anyway. And uh, everything's going to just be thrown away. But good citizen stuff. Just in case. Then on the main, well, hold on, let's just check screen. We can get rid of these two imports we no longer use. Um, still doing the on key up stuff. And then we've got a basic screen, uh, which just says, hey, we've got a no connection notice potentially. And that should should be okay because we should have it all up and running before the screen whatever's based on the screen comes in should be okay with that and then a main screen which doesn't actually use the screen should now have a satisfied connection okay 
So we'll check that in a minute. And that should mean that when we come in, and connection is OK as well, the list snippets works. We should be able to do a focus search box. And then just looking at, say, sit in screen. Connection OK. That's the update snippets. And then guards some of the settings being used. That's not guarded at the moment, but I will throw it out if there's no connection. Okay. Let's give that a go. This could be interesting. It may not work. Hmm. It flashed in, didn't it? And then changed his mind. Okay, that one worked, although it shouldn't. Oh yeah, now I've got it set all the time now, haven't I? So that worked. Interesting. Let's do that again. And now it doesn't. Works. Does not work. Does not work. That's race conditioning things going on there. It's too random. Let's do this.
not sure how this is going to play out. Oh, it's not going to like that. There's an async function. This will go bang now. That's the problem. I can't really deal with that. That probably threw a load of errors that I have not seen. I can't tell now. Um, so if I go into intend, uh, actually, it's probably easiest if I do Wells Dev. I probably should throw them all out. Uh, why did that work? I want to hold on. Hold on. That's a sync. So this. Should do that. I wonder if that's part of the problem for stop. I should be doing async there. Uh, let's just make sure that runs. That worked, okay. Let's make clean. Make. And then run search and paste mode. Hmm. Tries. It's always consistent there. Oh, it's definitely fading up on that as well. Mm. This might be something I need to 
noodle on later. I'm kind of sort of needing to get on my day, really. Right, so let's just double check this. Gonna try and do a ping. So it's connection to false if there's an error. If the result is Pong, we're good. If there's anything else, we've got an error. And that should happen as soon as this mounts and then keeps checking. Train going back in the background. I think it's a steam engine. All uh, right. In the main screen. comes in picks up search and paste mode we know that works I guess I could put a little delay in there. Good to Let's put a little delay in here just to sync things up. So, um, Air mounted equals false. And then in here, at the end, mounted equals true. I 
I'm going to test this connection thing in a minute because that might be the whole reason we've got a problem. But so what we'll do here is we'll do. Mm, cheers too. Let's change that. Make it positive. We probably should have just done this as a store. That might have been the whole reason, the whole way around it. Okay. So that worked. Do it again. That worked. Do non search and paste. That worked. 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 Okay, we've beaten the uh, the race condition there. Hmm. Just because we're waiting, basically, before we test this search box. Whereas I could have just like done it in a list snippets itself and would have been done. Or as I said, do the store thing right up top. All right, right, let's try this for reals now. Let's see if it actually works. Uh, 
let's do without. Okay, now that's where we need to fix things up a little bit. Because we don't actually want it to work there. Let's turn this on and quit. And then in both cases, it will do a flash there, though. Hmm. That's not right. Why is it still doing a flash? Okay, first things first. select mode and the connection is okay then we can try and override focus search box so that's the first thing I want to make sure so we only do it in select mode. So in search and paste, we'll search in there. And then in non search and paste, let's turn it off. Do the same, it should still go into search box, it does and do search and paste and it shouldn't it doesn't okay it's there sorry about the uh, steam engine going in the background So that's working. We're done there. And I really need to quit now. It's getting a bit late. I should start looking up to start my day. So let's just quickly look at this before. And here we're doing focus snippets. If not search. So we're starting off true here. Focus should be false. Water focus should be false. Active is false. So why is it if the 
flashing true. Hmm, have to debug that. Make sure the mouse is out of focus. Definitely did it. What if hold on a sec? Is it actually taken focus? Can't tell. All right, so it's not that. It's giving you a flash no matter what. Yeah, I'm going to have to do this another time. It's going to take a little bit of debugging, I think. Um, so, however, we have achieved the goal. Um, let's just double check what we've got here. Okay, so that looks okay. We've moved the check connection up into the app level, which is where it should have been really. We only want the one instance high up. Um, and so that will stay running in the background no matter which route is running and updates the store. Looks OK. We updated the uh, error messages for settings. We've got focus search box on the list snippets now. What it's saying. So focus snippets list is not equal to the search box. And the search box is true by default. So that really shouldn't be an issue. Hmm. I wonder if autofocus is a little bit 
grabby at first we'll see um then main screen we've got a get set and a show error being used now That should be higher up. Should be the highest. And then these three should come down here. So in the main screen, by default, we're going to focus search box. Then on mount, if we're in select mode, we check the connection. And if we're good, we go get the setting for focus search box and potentially say nope. And then if we're mounting, we'll just have a little message until we know what's what. And as long as we've got a connection, and some snippets or in select mode. We show the list snippets. Cleaned out a bunch from screen. It's a lot lighter now. Uh, the setting screen itself just has a couple of fixes for messages. The snippets list now has an autofocus, which may be the whole issue. Might have to rename that. We'll see. And then call the autofocus on the unordered list. Yeah, I might change that later. We'll see. Okay, so that's all the connect. Okay, I just changed something there, didn't I? What did I change that? Okay, I best give that a quick. It's dead. Did throw any errors, did it? Good. And if I do a make clean, make, it says expected now, that's good. And then without search and paste, got a little flash, but it does work as expected. And we'll deal with that flash some other time. Cool. All right. Able. 
ability to focus this instead of search box in search out. Mm, too long. Um. All right, well, I really ought to get on my day, but I just need to put a little to-do list, don't I, about that flash. Uh, let's make it here. To do investigate flash of focus mode. Hopefully, I'll jog my memory. tackle that next time all right thanks for watching uh, until next time uh, take care